Hi guys, my name is Trisha. I am the owner and lead planner at Trisha Backwich Events. And today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about your wedding invitations and things to be including on your wedding invitations. So here at Trisha Backwich Events, we are a boutique wedding planning company. We take on a very limited number of full service clients each year, which means that we help our clients with wedding invitations. So in talking with our clients and discussing where they're going to be ordering their invitations from and what to include and how they would like those invitations to look when they arrive to their guests. Very, very often we have clients that look at very high-end wedding invitations and they don't quite know what the price tag would be. So today I'm going to show you a save the date from Elegant Wedding Invites. I'm gonna try and hold it up so that you can see it properly without the reflection. This acrylic save the date can be saved by your guests and it has the little heart on your wedding date if you can see that over there so so pretty very thoughtful something that your guests will absolutely keep for years to come there's also a matching invitation how pretty is this i wish i could show this to you without the reflection of the light can you see that it looks amazing but it's affordable you guys elegant wedding invites is affordable elegance it's amazing they also sent a little wax seal but there's a sticker on the back so you can put these on your own wedding invitations and make it look like you had a high-end wax seal stamp going on all of your wedding invitations but you actually stuck them on it's super quick to do I did it in a matter of minutes, peeling the backs off of the acrylic, and it looks incredible. Check out their website. They have so many options available to you. The wedding planning tip that I have for you today for something to include on your wedding invitation that is commonly forgotten is include your shuttle information on your wedding invitation. If you are paying probably thousands of dollars for shuttles, advertise that let your guests know so your guests can plan to use them. If you are out of town, meaning 20 plus minutes away from the city or the perimeter of the city, we live in Manitoba, so we have something called the perimeter that defines what is city and what is not. More than 20 minutes past that, I would suggest doing some type of transportation for your guests, just so you know that everyone is going to get home safe. If you are offering a complimentary host bar for your guests and encouraging them to indulge all evening, make sure that they get home safely. The other thing to consider with out of town venues is that taxis may not go to some of those venues and you don't want your guests to be in a situation where they can't drive home, but they don't have any other options. So that's my wedding planning tip for you today. If you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to send me an email, send me a DM. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.